Last but not least, Clarence Clemens. <laughs> That's right. You want to be like him, but you can't. You know, <laughs> the night I met Clarence, he got up on stage. A sound came out of his horn that it seemed to rattle the glasses behind the bar and, and threatened to blow out the back wall. The door literally blew off the club in a storm that night. And I knew I'd found my sax player. But there was something else, you know, something, something happened when we stood side by side. Um, some, some, some energy, some unspoken story. Uh, for 15 years, Clarence has been a, a source of myth and light and enormous strength for me on stage. He has filled my heart so many nights, so many nights. And I, I love it when he wraps me in those arms <laughs> at the end of the night. I want to thank you, big man. I love you so much. So, uh... There I was. It was a stormy, stormy night in Asbury Park, New Jersey. The Northeastern was blowing in, rattling all the lampposts, and washing Kingsley Avenue clean. And me and Steve were in a little club down the south end of town when suddenly the door lifted open and blew off down the street. And a large shadow of a man stepped into the back room beside the door. I looked. King Curtis? King Curtis has come out of my dreams landed right here in Central Denali. Junior walked walked to the stage, said, I want to play with you. What could I say? I said, sure. Put the saxophone through his neck, and I heard. Something as cool as a river. nature coming out. At the end of the night, we just looked at each other and went. Got in the car, big long cat, drove through the woods on the outskirts of town, and we got very sleepy, and we fell into this long, 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 long dream. And when we woke up, we were in fucking Buffalo, New York. I took one long vacations in the stratosphere. 
You know it's really hard to hold your breath. I swear I lost everything.